What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Vol. That's right, we're playing here with Primal Fear and Genomes, baby. And man, are we having fun! Seriously. Aren't we having fun, Mr. Bear? He go, oh yeah, I like my massage when you do that. All right, enough of the massages, bro. That was just a one-time thing. So, yes, we are here, and last episode, we got this amazing cave, Celestial Dire Bear. Super duper high level, totally love it. Over a thousand now. And we got our very first Indominus Celestial Indominus Rex. It is a mega beast. I said I was going to kick off today with upgrading it. However... We, we are going to upgrade it today. However, um, yeah, some uh, pretty cool stuff is on the map. I just did a Dino Wipe. You can see, let's see, there's probably almost no Shinies yet. Yeah, not much for Shinies, but a lot of the bosses come back in once you do that. So let's check this out. Um, Celestial Indom. Oh, there's two now. There's only one a second ago. That is so good. All right, and good levels too. Um, better than what this guy was. So I don't know. Maybe we get some better stats as well. I was noticing one thing. This guy's melee. Well, it's not awful. It's one of his lowest stats. So maybe, just maybe, we can actually get a better one out of this and uh, evolve that one instead. So we'll just have to see. But you know what, Doomsday. I'm not gonna say it was a close call with Doomsday yesterday, but. It, it was kind of a close call, like a little bit, a little bit. I want to give them, especially if we're taking on two um, back to back, I think we should probably give him a couple more upgrades. And a lot of people have been requesting it. So here we go, Doomsday. You're an elite now. Let's bring him up to the Wraith tier. Ooh, doing good on Wraiths. I've been doing most of my... Uh, gathering of all that shenanigans off camera for you guys i just you know doing the towers over and over and over again it gets a bit repetitive so i've been trying to now only do it on camera when it's for specifically leveling a creature i'm using that day or if it's taking on a new tower which we still have two more towers to go beyond the ethereal so who knows maybe even today oh that looks awesome holy crap that looks really good in the wraith that looks super duper cool. It looked even cooler a second ago, but I'm still liking them. All right, so that just doubled Doomsday's uh, stats again. It would do the invisibility, which is cool, but you know, let, you know what? Let's do one more. Let's go at least, or should we go all the way to Ethereal? I don't know. Can I can I stand that much power yet? It'll be so strong. So I'll see you right back after the cooldown's finished. Yeah, that will be insane. Do you think it's going to turn total glacier or will it kind of like still keep some of the Indom scales? You know, the special Omega black ones. I don't know. I think this is going to be pretty cool. If it looks good, we'll run with it for today. All right. So far, so good. It's going to get super white looking. Yup. And then it should get the special ice look. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it did. Dude, look at that. That is insane. All right. I think I want to run with this for today. That is so crazy cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Dude, you're crazy looking. I didn't think it would totally work. Wow, bro, you were an ice cold killer, I do have to say. All right, so the Indoms, uh, at least I know one of them is straight up ahead. I know this because I checked this already. Whether they're both, in fact, let's just look real quick right now. Right now, let's get it over with. So, again, Celestial Indom. So we have this one, which is right up ahead. Okay, and then a little bit further down. They seem to like to spawn in this area. I find a, most of my Indoms right in here and then right in there. So, good for us. Anyway. Oh, what is he hitting for now? Oh, baby, 26,000. Still not our highest single hit, but man, is that strong. 
That is so crazy. And then let's try his special ice move. Oh, that's not bad. That's hitting in the millions. Oh, and it does the heal pulse along with it because it's the left control. This guy is nuts. Oh, there's an emperor. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Man, look at the resist. Look at that resist. It goes down so much. But uh, yeah, oh my goodness, you spawn in a lot of stuff. You spawn in a lot of stuff. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. I, I'm going to say I definitely didn't think it would take that long. That is nuts. All right, we should have got new armor. So we got our new Indom summon in, a new saddle, and we got pants. All right, so celestial armor prevents all fall damage. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Oop, didn't mean to do that. That was my bad. All right, we should see another one somewhere in here. I think it was over towards the right side. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I see him. Come here, bro. Give me an awesome, like, chess piece or something. Oh. All right, you're a meanie. You are a meanie. All right, this one. This one's the 290. It's a female. Holy crap. Look at all the seekers and everything. Oh. All right. Holy crap. Uh, um, I need to use where... Oh, oh. That's doing a lot of damage to me. Holy crap. Do you notice the health potions now? They, like, starve you out. I think that's something that had to be done to fix them. And holy crap, just let me get you. All right, we got him. We got him. All right, everything else go away. That's probably his minion, celestial minion. All right, did we get the loot? Yes, and we got boots. The boots increase your movement and swim speed. That's pretty cool. Oh, what the crap is that? Oh, you turd nugget. Um, wandering loot boss. Should we try and do one of these? Wandering loot bosses? I'm not on like a good, like I'm gonna kill him if I bite him right now, but I could power him up. Um, let me teleport back to the base and let me get on a guy where I can level him up. Um, and then we'll have to switch off to the Indom. That's actually kind of cool. A lot of you ask about this loot boss. All right, guys, so I am back with my Dire Bear. Let's go ahead and boost up. And the main reason I want to be on this guy is so that I can shoot off of him because the loot boss and especially the first few levels does not have a lot of health, Ew, which this is kind of annoying. This might kill him as it is. You got to get him down just to the right spot. Um. Oh, what else can I hit him with? Right, maybe right there. See what I'm talking about? Like, that's tough. All right, that'll, should do it. See, now he's in berserk mode. So here, he's just gonna go berserk for, you know, a good 25 seconds or whatever it was. And then he'll evolve to the next stage. So in each stage is harder than the next. So this one's Ramshackle. Next one will be uh, Apprentice. All right, come on, bro. You can do it. All right, three more seconds. And there we go. Evolved and now Apprentice. All right, so I still, the Dire Bear is going to hit him for too much. So I'm just going to use my Ascendant Shotgun. Oh. I'm trying to hit him just like, you know, again, because this, see how many times we hit? Uh, all right, almost there. All right, there we go. That's low enough. He goes into Berserker again. We got to wait the other, what is it, 30 seconds, I guess, until he evolves. So in the beginning, he's not that tough, especially if you're, you know, at the point in the game I am. But once he gets to that final stinking level uh, where you get the god Lyoth, the guy, he turns into more or less like a demonic Varox. It is quite ridiculous. So at this point, we should be a little better off. I'm going to go ahead and get my Celestial back. We should still be fine. All right, so 
journeyman got my stamina back. Let's put this back on. So now that he's in the millions, I think I can do it this way. All right, is that low enough? It's always tough to get him low enough. All right, let's, uh, I guess, get this out. That's, yep, got it, got it. All right, now he's gonna go into Mastercraft in another 29 seconds or so. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to that. All right, into Mastercraft. And you can see the health. It's almost like Genome's upgrades. Like he just gets stronger and stronger. Like doubling or more each time. All right, come on, doing good. Also doesn't help that I think everything in the area, like an origin, gets mad at you. All right, that should be low enough. Yep, got it again. All right, see you at the next one. All right, he's now ascendant. So here's the final one. This is actually going a lot quicker than last time. Come on, bro. Let's do it, let's do it. Now for this last transformation, I should probably switch up to the Indom. Um, I don't think we had the uh, origin or the Omega Indoms yet when we we're doing this but it'll go likely a lot faster. All right, come on, bro, come on. Let's go. Almost there. I should be able to get him to desert without having to shoot this time. But again, shooting is gonna be your best friend. I probably would have been better if I brought a rifle with me too. All right, awesome. He's going berserk. Um, I'm going to teleport back to the base now while he's doing that. And uh, let's switch back up to the Indom. We'll be able to handle this much better. At least, I hope so much better. If not, we got plenty of other choices. Beautiful. And Mr. Indom. You got this, bro. You have got this. So he's going to be a god lieth. So last remote location. You better be able to handle this. That's all I can say, bro. I don't want to lose you. All right. And God lieth. Look at 470. Notice he started off at a tiny level. Ooh. So it does not protect me from the cocooning, but we are good. Oh, oh, he's in another berserk. Hold on. Is there a thing above God lieth? I thought that was the final one. All right, just survive it, bro. Even though I'm getting cocooned, it's not like hurting me. All right. Oh, imagine if there's something higher. All right. He better not just like despawn, I'd cry. All right, what's going on? Is he evolving again? Oh my Lord, what's going on now? Maybe his level just keeps going up. Or maybe that was a glitch. I don't know. All right, he's like almost dead right there. I just want to see what happens. I think that's the highest it goes. Man, a lot of screen spam, but come on, do another evolution. That would be so epic if he just kept getting higher. All right, I think this is it, guys. I'm pretty positive. Let's just get him. Boom! Got you, bro. Oh, oh, he leaves a final kaboom for us. Now, again, we are on ridiculously good creature, but that is a tough fight. That is a real tough fight. And let's see what we got from it. So again, this is my biggest reason why I don't like to waste my time with it. Because after all of that, it only everything it gave us was blueprints, which that's cool and all, but when you look at the cost of this stuff, I mean, it's ungodly expensive. And again, it, it's not, you do are supposed to get normal saddles, but I guess we just didn't get lucky enough to do that. So yeah, I think that needs to be improved. Um, and that is uh, loot bosses. This is not a new thing. They've been around. Um, I just tend not to want to waste time doing them. Cause I mean, you saw that that took a while. It definitely took a while to do, and it's an awesome idea. I totally love it, but at the same time, it is just, I, I don't feel like the rewards are good enough. Now, given I have the upgrade station in this mod pack, so 
I can make most of this stuff myself anyway, but if you don't have it, this would be one of the only ways. And I guess in some of those cases, that's why it's cool to have the blueprints because you can keep making more of them. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to show you. So we did pretty lucky there. Um, I'm curious, is there... Let's just see if we have any empresses on the server too. Because, I mean, that would be awesome. Um, M... Oh, we do. We do, we do. Oh, dude, we got two of them also. All right, where... Okay. Okay, not bad. That's actually pretty close to where we are right now. Um, I definitely want to get the armor. That's the big point. I'm pretty pleased with our empress already, but I suppose it only gets better. All right, so I think they were over around this way. Oh, nice, nice. A uh, chance to, oh, is that a, pri that's a primal. I thought that was a vanilla one. I like this too, though. Don't get me wrong. Look at that. Wrecked. Nice, toxic thyla. All right, so I think they were around somewhere over here. I don't know. We'll, we'll eventually see their bubbles as we get close to them. Any... Ooh, that looks like a reap. All right, that's not the Empress. Dude, we are so strong. Oh, yeah, there's an Empress right stinking there. All right, um, Empress, I think, is a bit tougher. So, I don't know. I'm curious how this is going to work out. This might be... I got to be ready to teleport if this doesn't work out well. Ooh, and I got to... Oh, I don't have my health potions in them. Crap, 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 crap. Oh! Okay, well, I, apparently that settles that. We better get our guy out ASAP. Holy crap, the Empress you don't want to mess with. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, I just want to show you these new uh, pants that let you swim and walk. Look at this. I'm just walking. And look at how fast it makes us go. That is so insane. And then watch this. If your speed's really high on a dyno and you dismount one that flings you to the side, watch. I get flung way over there. That is so crazy. Um, I don't even know. I either have to redo my, uh, my stats and give my players zero movement speed, and it's still probably going to be too fast, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go back to that red obby. And, um, yeah, let's wreck some face. We should be golden with Blast Burner. He is my go stinking two for doing demonics. So, making my way back. I'll see you once we're near that Empress area. All right, here we go. Should be right up ahead. Let's put on the boost. Leave me alone, Dynon. All right, come on, Empress. We should be fully protected from her shenanigans. Yelp. Here it goes. You ready for the big move? You can do a blast burner. Come on, Empress. Come out. Come out. Show yourself. Yeah. Ready? Do it. Nice. Look at her melt. Absolutely stinking melt. That is so good. We're fully protected. Still go. Okay. She finally stopped. All right, next one, this will do it. Go, bro. Yes! That is so epic. All right, we got another Reaper Empress. All right, let's just wait for the fire to finish so I can go collect my loot. Turn that off. Oh, crap. I think I just harvested her. All right, apparently not all the way. All right, give me the loot. I know it's in you. Pretty positive, anyway. Oh, she's so annoying. All right, there we go. Access inventory. Perfect. We got boots and chest piece. That's what's up. That is what's up. There's still one more Reaper Empress around, so we got to find her. Um, the Reaper boots, never infinite stamina, never get tired. That's cool. First is swim speed, movement speed. Actually, I'm going to switch that up because that's kind of annoying. This one does fall damage. And then chest piece uh, provides constant healing effect. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah, definitely what we want. 
All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let me hunt down this other Empress, because I know she's close by. Oh, Apex Dragon. Oh, man. Um, Let's boost up. Way too low a level for me to care about. Plus, we couldn't even tame an Apex Dragon yet. We still got to find an Alpha. Oh, do you see that? Oh, crap. That kind of launched me. Just a tad bit kind of launched me. All right. Come here. All right, awesome. Lots of Apex goodies. All right, let's hunt down this other Reaper. All right, according to the scanner, she should be right up this way. Let's go ahead and take out these Indoms. They're Apexes. Oh, and it looks like we have an Origin here, too. All right, come on. You can do it, bro. You can do it. All right, got one out. Oh, look at the... Holy crap, what dismounted me? That is so not fair. Are you got to be kidding me? The rider protection is supposed to save you against that. Ooh, there's the bubble. I don't know if you guys saw it. There's the stinking bubble. All right, I'm going to do my big move right here. Let's just see if I can reach. Holy crap. Don't you know? You pushed me off the edge. This is not cool. All right, all right. We got to wait till we get in here. Wait till we get in. All right, come on, you dumb Reaper Empress. All right, we've got our power up on. All right, come on, pop out. Ready? That's a 300. I'm not sure. It doesn't say it's uh, max level, though. I think they can go higher. All right, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, she's melted. Get wrecked. And done. Beautiful. Ooh, and we got the loot that time directly into us. So I don't think I have to worry about harvesting her. Dude, look at that transcendent rock golem. My goodness. Electric Griffin, 220. Not bad. All right, I don't see her body. All right, I would get revenge on that, that Indom, but I could not find him. So, is what it is. Anyway, uh, I guess let's head back to the base. Let's summon in some of these guys. And uh, let's see if we got higher levels. Oh, Thorny Dragon, 220, 170. All right, let's just fry him. Not good enough. We need better ones to spawn in. Oh, it's so good. All right, and, and done. Beautiful. Got to get those demonic souls and stuff. All right, back to the base. All right, guys, we are back. Let's do this. Uh, we may or may not get something better, but, you know, it's it's all about trying. <laughs> that is the hope. What on earth is down here? Is this... Ooh, Alpha Raptor Vanilla. All right, this is what I was thought I was getting into before. I think my chibis might actually get more experience if I use the uh, level up potion on myself. I don't know, but... That's how I feel. So anyway, awesome. Very nice. All right. So Mr. Dire Bear, what is your present? Okay, not maxed out yet. So I can put that into attack. Beautiful. Let's just hold on to that and let's summon in and let's power up. All right. What do we got? 290, baby. Oh, crap. Um, Here, bro. Boom! All right, hit him. We're doing fine. He is hitting through the mount a little bit. All right, oh man, he is definitely going through the mount quite a bit. I'm not sure what is doing that, but we get the constant healing from the demonic armor, so that's cool. All right, come on, Just do your thing. Uh, ooh, don't get passed out there, please. All right, get away from the fence, please. All right, crap, he's in the fence. All right, is what it is. All right, um, I'm going to say at 290, oh, but only 39 in attack. That might go, that will go up, though, once I put in stuff. It's worth getting. All right, so it's only 10. So go ahead, bro. Eat up, eat up. Man, 290, though. Super lucky. I wonder if it now is... Because I think there was a 300 and a 290. I wonder if it's now based on the level that you do. You know, that you, you tamed. Or 
killed, you know, the boss. It also looks like one of the bosses. Now, my question is, they stacked on top of each other. I made sure not to let that happen with the Reaper Empress. But, um, that, I, I'm curious. If this one's a 290 also, I'm going to feel like the fact that it's stacked on it determined it. I, I don't know. Let's see. All right, that does look like the second one. Dude, 310. All right, maybe it has nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's our best one. I wish we got that one first. Boom. All right, just chilling out. Oh, okay, that move right there. That's the move that hits through the mount. My goodness. No, nope, no, nope, go away, go away. Run the other way. Man, 310, I can't believe it. So this is definitely, I think, going to be the one that we, uh... Oh, crap. No, get away, get away. I'm going to... No, don't want that to open. All right, it's knocked out. Let's power down. You did good, Mr. Dire Bear. Um, I'm going to actually pick you up. Boom. And let's get this one tamed. So another... Oh, this one's 11 kibble. All right. Hopefully we have enough. Yep. 10, 11. Beautiful. All right. Taming up. And I think this is going to be the one that we evolve for stinking sure. Oh, yeah. All right. I wish I had the max potion, though. All right. Doing your thing. Doing your thing. Almost there. And boom. Awesome. All right, we're out of origin arrows, so we do have to try and find some origins. Um, and I cannot do the Reaper Queen. However, you know, until we have that. However, we, uh, I, I can stack them. It's definitely okay that I stack them. All right, there's our new Indoms, and this is the one that we had yesterday in leveled. So it's got a 47 in attack. Whereas the two today, the white one has a 57, but this blue one, a 73. So stinking much better. It is going to be way stronger. Yep. So this is going to be the one that we level. Let me go ahead and just pack them up real quick so we can get through the door. Awesome. And I won't make you sit and watch me do it, but I just want to see what that first hit is. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. All right, and starting hit, seven, much better, 71,000 versus 104, beautiful. Still probably not going to be our strongest creature, but it's got some pretty good attacks. Ooh, origin already. No, nope, not yet. Not yet, bro. Not yet. Wait till I level up, then I'll come get you. So on that note. Uh, yeah, let me get some good levels into this guy. I think it will be amazing. Here you go. Level up, bro. All right, guys. I think we have it. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be awesome. So, uh, finish off the attack. So, 52, 3, 4, 5. That's max attack and max level. Not bad. All right. Do a little health potion. Let's just see how much we bite for. With Celestial Booze. All right, come here, bro. Come here. 572,000. I think the other one was hitting for under half a mil. Um, so, yeah, this is not bad. This means after the first upgrade, we'll be hitting over a million with the bite. And then just double every point after. So, on that note, let's do it. Let's do it. Let me get this guy up to the top and start upgrading first upgrade initiated so this one was being a little bit of a pain in the neck too just like the reaper at first it said it was outside of the field but then i just picked him back up threw him back out moved him a little and it should be all good all right here we go what is it going to look like? Oh, wow. So it turns a lot more white. We got the white glow. Very cool. And stats have now doubled. Awesome. All right. Onward to the next upgrade. All right. And elite. Let's go. It's getting pricey, man. These one, these bigger ones are the 2000 plus. It seems like in all the celestials. 
All right, and evolving. This one should be really cool. Here it comes in the dust. You can do it, bro. Oh, look at that. That is a looker. Oh my goodness. And of course, it'll be a different color every time you throw it out. All right, very sweet. Let's move on to the next. And here comes the Wraith. You can do it. Cool, cool, cool. Usually the ugliest looking. Yeah. But it's got that really weird symbiotic looking like blurriness blobs on it. All right. Very cool. Onward to the next. All right. Incoming Firestorm. Very sweet. This one was about to expire, so we had to use it up. Otherwise, I would have tried the glacier on it. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, look at that. Very cool. I am liking that. The red indom, ready, red ish orange with the blue glow. Very cool. All right. We now have Shadow Fall. This one I bet's going to look really good on it. It'll turn it to like a purple. Very suiting for the uh, Celestial, I think. All right. Oh, no. It's more like a black. Maybe better for a demonic, actually, now that I think about it. All right, sweet. All right, and here it is. These are getting pricey to go this high. This is why I don't upgrade every single one. Every single one of those has required us to take on basically a hive and a tower. And then on this server, you have to do each step in a row. You can change the settings so you can skip straight ahead. In all honesty, just for my sanity, I may switch to that. I don't know, but... I think this is going to be cool. So finally, this should lighten it up a bit. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It gets that crazy glow. And is it going to stay dark in color is the other question. It does look like it stayed pretty dark in color. It's almost got like greens or something in it. And then it's got like an orangish glow. All right. But um, yeah, this guy should be insane now. Easily, ease. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. You see the blues on the face? This guy hopefully should easily be able to take out a uh, origin now. <laughs> All right. So, on that note, let's pop on down here. I think because of my pants, I won't take fall damage. Is that right? Yep. All right. Awesome. I don't have my, my super speed boots on, but that's okay. All right. So. Let's go pop this guy back out. This is our highest tier yet, ethereal. Oh my goodness. Let's put on our celestial boost, and then when I press the left control, it will also give it the ethereal thing, I think. Wow. All right, here it goes. What are we going to bite for? Oh, all right. Remember, this guy resists, but we're hitting for three to four million a pop. Very cool. What about the flame? Oh, massive. That's a million. 1.2 million a piece. All right, big move, big move. Come on, can you do it? I'm pressing C. I think he's got us off the ground. All right, come on, big move. There we go. I don't know if I actually hit the uh, the origin with it. So I have to say, I mean, this guy, he does have a lot of good features, but still nowhere close, nowhere close to the strongest. But either way, we should take out the uh, origin pretty quickly. All right, come on, bro. All right, what is this celestial? I don't know why it's not activating. I've been pressing, it should be the left control. This I do not know. All right, so do we have our origin blood? Yes, we do. Beautiful. Now, in my journeys, I ran across another origin that we can check out. And look at that. 62 million health now. And stamina is so much better. We've got a million stamina. Which means I can pretty much leave. Before, I couldn't leave my boost on. I'd run out of stamina, like, quick. Now, not a problem. All right. And looks like, actually, it looks like that guy didn't resist all that much. We only got up to 4 million. What the crap? Come on, bro. Why not stronger? Why not? I don't think it doubled each time. 
because it should have been after one, unless I'm unless I don't have that correct. It should have gone up to a million at uh, enhanced. It should have then gone to two million at elite. So maybe it's maybe it's not what I was thinking. But I don't know. On other guys of ours, it definitely does have that multiplier. Let's see when I take my boost off what it hits for. All right, come here, bro. Let's give a little bite. Can I see someone? All right, yeah, see, it's only hitting for two million there. Interesting. All right, I would like to find a bigger creature to battle. Because, again, to take full advantage of this guy, you have to use... You got to be going against something really big, which we may not really get to notice until we take on the next tier of bosses. Um, this guy would probably be phenomenal against like a uh, origin wyvern or something for sure. But anyway, there should be an origin dire bear up here, which is likely going to be a pain in the neck, just like the Carno. But we'll just have to find out. All right, it was right around in here somewhere. Oh, yep, I see him right up there. All right, let's put our boost back on. Again, I don't know why the ethereal thing is not working. Why we're not getting the, like, you know, the multiple versions of him come out. So maybe this guy's uh, moves are conflicting. All right, come on. Oh, there we go. See, it says Ethereal's calling from the ether. I don't see him. There's supposed to be a guy on the left and right of me. All right, let's do that move. Oh, yeah, that's where it's at. That fire breath. I think he's also traditionally had minions, which I am not seeing his minions. So I don't know, bro. All right, come on. Keep doing your thing. I know that X did a roar. I'm gonna do that just to see what happens. Which it seems like nothing. All right, either way, slowly but surely, we are definitely creaming him. We'll just have to keep on upgrading this guy. I think he'll be even better at a higher level. All right, this guy's definitely hurting. That's right, you run from me, bro. All right, all right, come on. Come on, get him again with the flame. Now see how the flame's annoying? It misses a lot. It's just awkward to aim, I guess. All right, flame maybe, come on. Yeah, not working, not working. All right, big move, big move. Boom! Can you see like how many, the majority of the pellets from the big move are missing? Dude, get out of there. He's like right in that awful spot. All right, we got two more origin bloods. That's cool. We have this guy upgraded. Ooh. Hopefully, what level is that? 160. All right. Let's get back to the base. We got to see this guy at Ethereal. I think he's definitely, definitely, we got to bring him even higher to be, like, fully, fully amazing. Um, But let's see what's on the base. We haven't even tamed anything yet today other than an Indom, and I like to do something new if possible. So I'm sure we're out of time already, but I'm going to make it happen. All right, guys, let's search for something. Uh, first and foremost, uh, a lot of people have been asking about griffins, and I just wanted to point out, Noxious Griffin, I never, ever, ever see it. But look, there is a Spirit Griffin. There is the Celestial Griffin, both of which are not on the map right now, so it kind of sucks. Ice Griffins, there is a 270, but I think I'm going to hold out on them. Um, and then Fable, 290, I'm going to hold out for a better level. Again, it's not bad, but it's nothing phenomenal. All right, so that being out of the way, let's look at Demonics. Um, no more Re Reaper Empress. Thorny Dragon, 270 is the highest. Let's just see. Yeah, not good melee. So, all right, forget that. And let's go Celestial. Um, I already checked. There's no shinies of any of these. Um, Spino is pretty cool. Ooh. Yes, yes, that's what we're going for. All right, that's it today. All right, perfect. Let me just make up some more kibble because we kind of blew through most of ours. And uh, let's see if we can grab a spino quickly, quickly for today.
All right, easy enough to locate. Um, ooh, uh, we already have two of those, but that's a pretty good level one. Um, I'm going to actually knock this guy out just to get him out of the way. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Get knocked out, all right. And let's see if we can get this Spino. He's powered down currently. We have two tries. Oh man, don't miss, don't miss. Yes, we got him. All right, get the crap out. Run, 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 run. Holy crap. That guy is insane. All right. Uh, this water is fairly safe, so I actually don't mind if he gets knocked out in this water. Just kind of chill. All right, Torpor is building. Torpor is building. And it's a Spino, so most things shouldn't attack it. All right, and down. Beautiful. Let's just get this Dillo. Get out of here, bro. All right, I think we're safe for the most part. I thinks I thinks. Right? Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Um, this guy's only ten kibble too. Kind of a bargain. Kind of a bargain. All right. So let's see. There we go. And the arrow takes care of the rest. Let's just back off. Yeah, real nice. Super painless. All right, come on, buddy bro. Finish up. So I can already tell it's not going to be the most powerful guy that we're going to get. But the Spino, it's a beautiful one. And the Spinos are super cool. Just because of all the different types of upgrades you can do. This is one of the creatures that we're able to make into a corrupted celestial. So that's super awesome. All right, let me get them packed up, get a saddle. We'll go for a quick run. All right, one of the pricier celestial saddles too. Um, For the amount of hide required, it's about middle of the line. Most are a thousand or under, but the RG is 1500. And then the UD is 3,400. That's insane. Usually, I feel like that's weighted based... I don't know if it's based on, like, vanilla or if it's based on um, what the mod author feels are the best ones. But those are crazy pricey. So, anyway, I can do... I don't even know if I can afford an upgrade. Maybe once I can upgrade it. Anyway, um, I think I'll just augment it for now. All right. Generally, a pretty beautiful Celestial. We got really interesting coloring. Um, It's got the white sails. I like that and all the, you know, the, the skin areas. And then it's got like a real light blue, almost cyan um blue on the top of it. It's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Now, I checked out the time. We're definitely short in time. So, and a lot of people, I think it's hilarious. A lot of people are like, what do you mean you're short on time? You have all the time in the world. It's just the length of the video is getting kind of long at this point. We we did so much with the upgrades. The upgrades take forever and, you know, all the bosses. And we did the loot boss. So, um, it, it cuts into it a little bit. But, yeah, not bad for starting hits with the notice we get for a Spino. We get the added uh, hydration boost, which is really cool. Makes this guy crazy powerful. And then let's just see with the celestial moves in this guy. So, s oh, and I'm not, I'm also, am I celestial boosted right now? It kind of looks like I am. I think I am. Yeah, we get that attack, which is actually pretty easy to aim. Oh man, that is massive. Then we have the flame too. I mean, this guy has a barrage of different choices for attacks, which I really like. So in general, yeah, I think it's a pretty good Celestial. And then, like I said, not every Celestial can get the corrupted variant, but this one can, which A looks awesome. It can get both corrupted and ascended. So it's gonna be pretty powerful towards the end. I dig it. And of course, all these are, you know, attacks that we've done without a single level into it. Plus, we have genomes. So, very, very cool. Um, anyway. Oh, man, this guy's so fast. I think it is that time. I'll spend some more time with this guy um, in next episode, getting him leveled. And then, of course, once we get to the ascension stuff, this will definitely be one of the guys that we ascend. 
whether it be this Spino or another one, because you never know, we might get a shiny eventually. But I think it's cool enough for today. Let's go head up to the base and uh, yeah, let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments and yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Let's get to it, though, because I am short on time. Like I told you, we have for the dire bear. None other than bruiser bruiser the bear totally love it for next episode we need to do the celestial spino and um our two new indom emperors yep 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 and finally because we did fire empress for the queen i actually did this name wrong i gotta fix it we are gonna go with that theme continuing for a very first one and ice king except it's supposed to be ice emperor yeah, I'll get it switched. But anyway, very, very cool. And then here's the other Celestial Indom. So on that note, guys, oh, man, my mismatched armor. We'll get it fixed eventually. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Or if you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again, and peace out.